So in today's video, I'm going to be repairing a flip uh, display uh, alarm clock that I had found at a resale store the other day. Uh, this really caught my eye. I've seen uh, these type of uh, clocks on some other uh, uh, YouTuber videos, and I thought this would be really interesting. I've seen these in, in a couple different movies, and I really did like the aesthetic, and it was kind of nice to actually see one in person. Um, this is an old uh, Panasonic alarm clock and uh, what I'm going to be repairing on it is um, I wasn't sure if it actually had a uh, night light in it so it'll be visible um, when the room is dark uh, unfortunately uh, or fortunately it did have a light in it uh, I thought I was gonna have to put one in um, but uh, fortunately it actually had the mounting for one uh, from the factory however the the light itself was actually burnt out and uh, Originally, my plans were to put a LED in, in the holder here, uh, and I had gone to uh, a couple different stores to, to see if we can if, if I could find some LEDs uh, that would that would be suitable for it. However, a lot of the different LEDs that I was looking at were were all very uh, cold white um, and things of that nature, and I was trying to look for more of the the old retro kind of look. Uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the, the, the ambery glow, the nice soft glow to it, I didn't want anything harsh. Um, thought it would kind of really throw off the aesthetic of the, of the whole setup. But uh, anyway, so what I ended up doing was uh, I went to a local hobby store, a uh, train store, and they actually do sell these little, um, uh, what do they call? I think they were called... Um, wheat grain uh, lamps, incandescent wheat grain uh, lamps. Now these, uh, these guys are uh, ran off of uh, 12 volts and uh, luckily enough I had measured um, the voltage coming off the wires uh, in here and uh, sure enough it was at 10 volts so it'll be uh, a little underpowered which will be good so it'll have a much longer uh, lifetime and uh, fits right in the holder here just fine. So basically, uh, what I'm going to do is, it does have this little blue filter holder, um, and you can see a little bit of discoloration there from how long it's been in use. And uh, I was looking at it, and it, and it does give uh, a, a little bit of a blue tone to, to the front of the lights here, or the, the displays here. And so what I'd like to do is, originally it was set up in this orientation so that the light itself is actually facing um, uh, is open downward and then the filter uh, illuminates the front of the display like this uh, but what, I, what I'm planning on doing is actually flipping it up upside down like this so that now it's not going to be a filter it's just going to be uh, a holder a placeholder for the for the light itself so that all of the um, the light will be facing upwards uh, towards the display there. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and um, uh, desolder the, um, the connectors here. This is going to be a very simple and easy fix today. Hopefully you guys are having a good uh, Labor Day holiday as well. Um, and for those of you that are outside of the United States, um, it's a holiday called Labor Day. You guys can Google it if you wish to find out more information about it. But um, anyway, yeah. So I'm just going to solder these on here just real quick. And I probably don't have the right tip on this. This is a very... Uh, pointed tip. That should be fine. There we go. Good enough for good enough for what we're doing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna plug this guy in just to make sure it's all working correctly. There we go. So we got our nice little light there. And what's really neat about this uh, this clock is is that um, because it doesn't um, 
you don't have any way of knowing if it's working or not simply because of the, the way that it works um, other than the the light which you can't probably won't really be able to see during the day um, they have this nice little indicator right here that, that has this spiral this cool spiral motion that shows that the the motor is working and that um, it's actually you know live um, but anyway, so I'm going to unplug this real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. Originally when I had uh, plugged this in for the first time to see what it looked like, I actually thought that it was uh, something that was spinning uh, around in a circle, uh, but it, it's actually just going like this in, in a um, horizontal motion and giving the illusion that it's, it's turning, um, it's, or it's, it's spinning vertically, but it gives the illusion that it's going horizontally like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna take a little bit of uh, hot glue and uh, just put a little dab right here. Actually, I'll probably put it on first. Just a little bit. Shouldn't really take much. Let that cool off. There we go. I could have done it with um, super glue, but I figured it would take too long to to set. So might, I think I'm just going to put a little dab on this side here too. There we go. And make sure that this mount is firmly set in there. Luckily, the way that they designed it, um, you know, I was able to flip this um, this holder upside down it fits in either way okay so we're just going to take these wires and pull them out of the way there and I'll try my best here to get this all placed back in again Kind of a tight squeeze. There we go. Pull those wires down. Come on. Alright, let's see how that looks. Wire still in the way? Yeah still in the way. I'm going to have to route those guys a little bit better. There we go. I think that's probably what that tape was for. Yeah, that's probably what that tape was for. Alright, so I'm just going to take another little dab of hot glue there. Let this cool off. There we go. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Now the construction of this um, clock is is uh, good on the mechanical side. The the outside is made out of. Um, uh, a very very cheap plastic that's uh, probably has the worst uh, wood grain appearance I've probably ever seen but um, maybe I'll paint that eventually down the road but um, as far as the aesthetic of the, um, the clock itself uh, it's very nice I like it okay there we go so there's that all seated in correctly hopefully correctly.
sitting in all the way correctly here. It's amazing at which the, there we go, the speed that um, people on assembly line can put these together, they probably could do it blindfolded, just do it from feel alone, don't even need to see what they're doing. So that back side just doesn't want to... It's sitting right, but but it just doesn't want to line up with that spot right there. Uh, yeah, it just looks a little bit off, doesn't it? Let me pull this guy out. Take another peek in here. Probably when they install this they probably don't have the circuit board in. That's probably what I'm doing wrong is I probably should have been a little bit more patient and uh, taken out the circuit board but I'm very impatient. Let's try that. Mm, is that better? A little bit. You now my back is a little. Oh, because I got a wire sticking out. Hello. Still, still feels like it's a little bit off, like I'm putting pressure on something that I shouldn't be. Who would have thought this would be so difficult to put back together? I think it would just sit right in there. It's just that this one little spot, everything fits together fairly decently, except it's just that one little spot that just really doesn't want to... Well, you know what, I'm not going to waste your guys' time. Uh, I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'll come back after I figure out how that fit in there. Well, would you believe me if I told you that flipping this little lens upside down was enough to actually uh, throw off um, the alignment of this this alarm assembly to um, to this piece right here. So ended up taking this little guy out right here, and as you can see, block the light here a little bit. Got this nice beautiful amber glow to uh, to the front of this display here. Uh, looks a little bit brighter um, on camera than it does uh, in person. Um, but it still has just a very beautiful uh, light glow to it. Now, again, um, let me turn the lights back on here. Um, if you can see, I don't know how well you can see this, but right in there, like I say, it almost looks like uh, some, uh, um, the indicator is actually turning um, horizontally, but uh, it's actually spinning, um, or seems like it's spinning on a, on a vertical axis, but it's actually spinning on a horizontal axis, which is just a neat little optical illusion. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and put all the um, screws back into this guy. Get, get it all put back together. This is actually going to replace a um, uh, seven segment uh, display um, clock that I have. Um, that I've been using for quite some time now, and uh, I just think this this is just going to look a lot better on the shelf here. Let's get these screws all figured out. Fairly long screws, surprisingly. 
the construction is 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 really nice. It's just um, I I wish that they would have gone with uh, something a little bit nicer as far as the, um, the plastic was concerned. But you know everything has its budget uh, as far as production is concerned. So um, you know I'm gonna use that other screwdriver. Um, I wonder what this clock would have would have cost uh, brand new and if it was. Uh, And how much of a selling point it was to uh, to have this style? Very, <clears throat> very um, shallow um, heads to these screws. Not a lot of not a lot for the screwdriver to bite into. I'll tell you what, I've never really been a big fan of Phillips. I, I'm really a huge fan of um, either square head or um, or the um, like the Torx, the Torx style. Um, they're just a lot nicer, especially if you're if you're ever doing any type of uh, wood construction. You don't have to push as hard to um, to get everything to pull together, you know, so even if you put, you know, a great amount of force on it, it, it really doesn't matter because everything is, it, you're not having to push, you know, put like, probably be like, what, about 50% or 75% of the pressure of actually just trying to keep the thing lined up. I, I don't know why, um, why Phillips was, uh, was chosen as the popular Maybe it was easier to make. I don't know. I just think that Square and um, Torx are just, uh, or Allen or any of those are just far superior as far as um, building. Um, you know, the, the heads don't wear out on, on your drivers as easily. You know, just all these different, um, all these different features. Let's see here. I can't really see down in these holes here. That one. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell which which one is the right one because you got you got this this false one here and this other false one here and another one here. It's like okay. But anyway, um, even look at that, it is UL listed. Um, and it, if anybody's curious uh, about the model number of this guy, it is a uh, RC-6030. Uh, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5 watts. And um, because it's a, it's a radio, uh, clock radio, uh, it says here it complies with FCC Part 15. Um, let's see, manufactured by Mata C, I can't even pronounce that, M-A-T-S-U-S-H-I-T-A, -S -S Electronics uh, Co., made in Japan. Anyway, is this screw even going to go in? Oh, there we go, it feels like it's going in now. All right, so we're all put back together here. Let me just uh, grab the knobs. Put on this guy here. There we go. Now, I haven't um, tested this thing to see if the alarm works. I really don't care. I actually use um, uh, I use my phone most of the time for, for alarm clocks simply because I have multiple alarms set. Um, but anyway, I'm going to turn the lights. There we go. Just to show you this again. Yeah, I really like that. This is definitely going to be my new, uh, my new uh, just general glance uh, clock. Um, you can't set alarms on here. Like I say, I'm not going to use it. I have no reason to use it. Uh, I guess for now we could actually turn on the radio 
and see what we get if anything I'm not very hopeful that it works no just getting getting static here Yeah, not very, um, <laughs> turn it off and it stays on. Yeah, I'm not very interested in, in fixing the, the radio part anyway. I don't really listen to the radio that much. But anyway, just a fun little project. Um, just thought it was a neat clock and deserved to get its light restored there. Uh, but anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, probably going to be making a couple, couple more here in the next couple days. So if you enjoyed it, um, please subscribe for, for more videos. I hope to do um, quite a few more in the upcoming future. And uh, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys are actually enjoying it. Or if you'd like to uh, put any input, uh, please do in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.